What's up, the John Squad? This is Champion, and happy SummerSlam Sunday, the John Squad. That is right. Here is my WWE SummerSlam 2018 pay per view predictions. That is right. We have 13 matches on the card, I assume to believe. So let's get things going, shall we? So we're going to start with the three pre show matches that we have on the card. We have is Drew Gulak versus Cedric Alexander for the WWE Cruiserweight championship and I am probably going to have to go with Cedric Alexander to defeat Drew Gulak to retain his WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Now we have is the Revival versus the B Team. That's right we have is the Revival versus let's see we have the Revival versus the B Team for the Raw Tag Team Championships. Um, let's see um who am I going to have to pick? I am going to have to go with probably the B team to retain their Raw Tag Team Championships. That's just my prediction right there. So now we have Rusev and Lana. Is it going to be a Rusev day today? That's right. I hope it is because uh, versus Andre Cien Lamas and Selena Vega. You know, I think Ada English is going to get involved somehow and probably cost Rusev and Lana this match. So... I'm probably going to have to go with uh, Andre Cianalamis and Selena Vega to pick up this win in this pre-show match. So that's my prediction right there. Now we have Finn Balor versus Constable Baron Corbin. And this has been going on and on and on for the past couple weeks between these two, you know. This rally has been heating up between the two. So I am probably going to have to go with Finn Balor to beat Constable Baron Corbin. That's my prediction right there. Now we have... Kevin Owens versus Braun Strowman for the Money in the Bank contract. If Strowman is to lose by DQ or countout, he will lose the Money in the Bank contract to Kevin Owens. Do I see Kevin Owens winning the Money in the Bank contract? Let's take a guess here. It is SummerSlam though, so... I don't see it happening, so I am going to probably have to go with Braun Strowman to beat Kevin Owens, you know, I, that, that's just my prediction right there. I am going to have to go with Braun Strowman to defeat Kevin Owens, so that's my prediction right there. I'm going with Braun Strowman to beat Kevin Owens, so that's my prediction right there. Now we have Ronda Rousey versus Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's Championship. I am going to probably have to go with Ronda Rousey to win her first championship in WWE. That's right. I'm going to go with her to win the Raw Women's Championship. Now we have the New Day. Let's see. Now we have is the, um, the, um, the New Day versus, um, the Bludgeon Brothers for the SmackDown Tag Team Championships. Let's see who I'm going to have to pick. I am going to have to probably go with... Uh, let's see. I'm probably going to have to go with um the Bludgeon Brothers to retain their SmackDown Tag Team Championships. That's just my prediction right there. So I'm going to go with the Bludgeon Brothers right there. Now we have Seth Rollins with the return of Dean Ambrose in his corner versus Dolph Ziggler with... Drew McIntyre in his corner for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Now, many of you guys have been thinking that Dean Ambrose is going to turn heel on Seth Rollins. Is he going to turn heel? Is he going to cost them the match? I think that Seth Rollins is going to burn it down in, in the Barclay Center tonight at SummerSlam. I think that Seth Rollins is going to win the Intercontinental Championship. I don't see Dean Ambrose turning heel at all. I think that they're going to save that for later on, maybe later on in the future, but I don't see it happening at all. See, I don't even know why everybody wants Dean Ambrose to turn heel when they can just reunite together, you know? I don't see it happen at all, so... I don't see him turn on Seth Rollins or cost him this match. Maybe, 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 maybe my prediction is maybe after the match and Rollins is celebrating, but I just don't see it happening. But I think Rollins is going to take back the Intercontinental Championship. That is my prediction right there. Now we have Daniel Bryan versus The Miz, and I am going to have to go with yes, 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 Daniel Bryan. That's right, Daniel Bryan to beat The Miz. Now we have Becky Lynch versus Carmilla versus Charlotte Favre for the SmackDown Women's Championship. And you know, this is kind of a hard one. I like Carmilla because, I, I don't know, I think I'm going to have to pick... 
Becky Lynch, I think she deserves the SmackDown Women's Championship. You know, I think it's time for her time to shine. So I am going to have to probably pick Becky Lynch. That is my prediction right there. I'm going to have to pick Becky Lynch to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. That's who I'm going to have to go with because I think Becky Lynch deserves deserves this because she's been on a roll lately. So that's just my prediction right there. Now we have Samoa Joe. Versus AJ Styles. That's right. No, they don't want none for the WWE Championship. And people want AJ Styles to lose. You know, I've been reading a lot of stuff. And I think AJ Styles is actually going to retain his WWE Championship against Samoa Joe. That's just my prediction right there. So I'm going to go with AJ Styles to beat Samoa Joe. Now we have Jeff Hardy. Versus Shinsuke Nakamura for the WWE United States Championship. And I am going to have to go with Shinsuke Nakamura to beat Jeff Hardy. Because I don't see Shinsuke Nakamura losing this belt at all. I really don't see it happening at all. And I can see Randy Orton maybe getting involved somehow and costing Jeff Hardy probably. Because he's not even on the card, Randy Orton. We need Maybe we need Randy Orton somehow on this card. And you know, I don't know what's going to happen. Because Randy Orton's not even on the pay-per-view just yet. So I can see him somehow coming out and maybe after the match or something. I don't know what's going to happen with Randy Orton. But anyway... Whew. So anyway, on to the main event of the night. We have his Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar for the WWE Universal Championship. And I'm going to have to go Brock Lesnar. I'm just joking with you, the John Squad. I hate Brock Lesnar. I hope he loses the Universal Championship to Roman Reigns. So now this is my prediction right here. I, I was just kidding. Okay, I am going with Roman Reigns to beat Brock Lesnar for the Universal Championship. And then, um, then we're going to see a cash in. And we're going to see Braun Strowman cash in the money in the bank and become the next Universal Championship. So we're going to see him cash in on Roman Reigns and become the Universal Champion. So that is my prediction right there. And when I said I wanted Brock Lesnar, and I don't want him to win. So that's right. So um, once again, the John Squad, please like this video. Leave your comments down below and subscribe for more. You're all the best of John's squad. You're all one of a kind of each and every single one of you guys. You mean a lot to me every day. And I love each and every single one of you all. And we're all champions here on this channel. And I love you guys. And don't forget to tap that bell on your YouTube app so you never miss an upload on my videos. And subscribe for more videos. You know, I just love you guys. And... I hope you enjoy this pay-per-view tonight. It's SummerSlam, and the pay-per-view is supposed to go on for seven hours until it starts at five. I think it starts at five, I think, and then it ends up at midnight. So, yeah, not at five, at six or something like that. So, yeah, so it's, it ends at midnight tonight. And man, I can't believe that. So, it's going to be a long night of wrestling. So, peace out, the John Squad. Let's go Seth Rollins. That's right. Peace.